Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Being Guru Electrical Channel. This is Mujib Raza with you with a new topic. Today we will discuss generator nameplate. So if you see a generator, there will be a typical nameplate indicating the rating of the generators. Let's start. So we have taken one generator nameplate. The brand is Caterpillar. So the first thing you will see is the manufacturer. So in this case we have a caterpillar, then we have a model. So every manufacturer have different types of generator model. So this model is DE850 EO. So it means diesel engine generator with a rating of 850. Then we have serial number. So each generator set have some specific serial number which is mentioned on the nameplate then we have month and year of manufacture so this is manufactured in november 2019 then we have rated power so in power we have two types one is prime rating and one is standby rating so prime rating is the rating in for which we can operate the generator set for 24 hour operation like continuous operation and the other when we have standby like in case of power failure our generator set will start and feed the power so this is standby so for the standby it can give us 850 kva but same generator we can use for 80 percent rating like 850 generator we can use the same 50 to 780 kva on prime rating so if you see the kilowatt at 0 0.8 power factor generator will give you 680 kilowatt on 0 0.8 power factor so this is the power factor 0 0.8 then we have rated voltage 415 volts three phase and 240 volt single phase then we have phases number of phases three rated frequency is 50 hertz rated current is 1183 amperes at 415 volt three phase then rated revolution per minute 1500 rpm maximum altitude is 100 meters maximum ambient temperature so maximum ambient temperature is the design is 25 degrees then we have mass mass is 5040 kg or 5040 ton then next we have uh, some extra rating then we have generator this is the series L seven A zero six seven eight nine. Then we have generator connection. This is star three phases and one neutral. This is ISO standard design on eight five two eight dash three. Then we have generator enclosure, which is IP twenty three. So this is not waterproof, and this is generator shall be used for the indoor. This generator cannot be put or operate in the outdoor environment then we have insulation class H insulation class H means this temperature means this the winding of this generator can withstand up to 40 degrees or with a safety factor of 55 degrees so this generator can run or give power output power at the temperature of up to 55 degrees then we have uh, excitation voltage 78.3 volts and excitation current 4.96 amperes so this is the engine serial number this is the generator serial number and this was serial number of the whole package means alternator including the engine this is the caterpillar serial number but this one is the generator serial and this one is the engine serial then the make is made in uk and then there is one note generator set is designed to operate in ambient temperature up to 50 degrees and at higher altitude please consult factory for output available so if you see the manual and if you check with the manufacturer so this they can give you the detail and it can be run up to 50 degrees celsius 
so this is the typical nameplate on the generator in the next video we will see what type of tests are carried out on the generator sets in the factory and on site so if you want to watch those video so hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to receive the channel videos updates thank you and see you soon in the next video thank you